We're going on a grocery <laughs> run. <laughs> Hey Ryan. Yeah. What are we doing? Very excited. I got my belated birthday present in the mail today. The Binging with Babish cookbook. Um, love the channel, love watching it, love watching his food videos and everything. Um, and today we're gonna attempt to make one of his dishes. Probably the most simple one in the book <laughs> to start us off. And, and that still involves us making homemade pasta for the first time. We're making pasta at alio olio. Alio, alio olio. Garlic pasta. <laughs> Garlic lemon pasta. It's gonna be real good, hopefully. And we don't have a pasta maker, so we're gonna like fully be making it by hand. Um, yeah. Off to stumps. Get some pasta just in case. <laughs> we got our stuff. Now it's time to cook. <laughs> hey guys, it's Ryan. I'm doing my best Babish impression to describe what we're doing here. We are starting with the pasta dough. We took the actual pasta recipe from the carbonara that's also in the book to make the noodles for the alio olio. I don't know if I'm saying that right, pasta. And only when we got home did we realize we didn't have semolina flour. But too late for that now, we'll have to improvise. Measured out the ingredients into a mixing bowl and after Kara and I mixed it up a bit, it seemed a little dry. So we had to adjust our egg and flour ratio a bit to get the correct consistency. And then we were back to kneading. At this point, we were really putting some elbow into it. You have to knead the dough and then keep kneading it until it isn't sticking to your hands on the counter anymore. Right about now, our entire kitchen smells like garlic. I'm going for the smash and peel method of peeling garlic. Here, Kara is in awe of my garlic peeling skills and pondering the fact that garlic is pretty sticky. Let's get to chopping. Chopping up garlic, chopping a lemon there. There we go and chopping up that fresh parsley. Now this is where the problem starts for us. We really cannot stress enough how thin you have to roll out this dough. Like go as thin as you think it will possibly go and then go twice as thin as that. However, our hunger clocks were going off and we needed to get this show on the road. So we started cutting the noodles. These are starting to look like if Linguini had a beefy older brother. Kara thought maybe once they were cut, she'd go for the squishing a worm method with the rolling pin. We're putting the noodles in the pot, and fresh pasta cooks a lot faster than dry pasta, so set a timer for that. Heat up the pan with the oil, and it's time for some kitchen ASMR. So great. So Kara, tell us how it went for you. The noodles were the hardest. I think we need to get a pasta maker. <laughs> so the way that they go into the boiling water is the way that they form. No, you know, it's a labor of love. I think the homemade pasta is... It's know, a good touch. It's, it's great. And of course, we had to go for the classic babish plate up. However, I did not have a carving fork, unfortunately. P.S. If you make this dish, the aroma will make your mom come in and try to taste it. Cheers. It's good. It's spicy. Yeah, it's really spicy. Mmm. Mm. Good though. Are you glad you did it? So glad. Thank you, Babish. Great job with your book. We're gonna have to try this again sometime. With pasta maker. <laughs> Goodbye!